Hello everyone, I <clears throat> hope you're having a nice day. So we've got another phone review for you. Today we're looking at the Honor View 10. In 2017, Honor shipped impressively high-end smartphones at bargain prices. The Honor 9, Honor 8 Pro, and Honor 7X solidified its reputation as one of the best value brands around. And the newest Honor flagship is in keeping with that tradition. To kick off 2018, Honor took the wraps off the Honor View 10, an ambitious phone that combines the best elements of previous Honor devices with killer new software features. A dedicated neural network processing unit, also known as an NPU, and a camera that's largely unmatched in the View 10's price bracket. First off, I'll give you the specs. The phone comes with the Kirin 970 chipset, 6GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, a 5.9 inch screen at 1080x2160 pixels, a 3750mAh battery, a dual 16 and 20 megapixel camera with a 13 megapixel selfie camera. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the NPU. This is a separate chip dedicated to handling all of the AI related features on this phone. This will power the live translation app that you'll find on this phone, many camera features, and it will even learn how you use your phone to improve the performance over time. I won't get super technical about the science behind the NPU, but if you want more info, check out the article in the description. The View 10's LCD comes in at just under 6 inches with an edge-to-edge 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It's impressively compact, measuring roughly the same with a 5.5 inch screen with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, though a bit taller, giving it a slightly larger screen area. This is the first time we've seen Honor use rounded corners on one of its phones, and it looks good. We were especially pleased to see that the rounded corners don't interfere with the phone's apps or software interfaces. Images and videos look very crisp on this display, and despite the fact that the View 10's display is LCD rather than AMOLED, it renders colors accurately with high contrast in deep blacks. Now let's talk about the 16 and 20 megapixel sensors that make up the rear camera. All of the camera modes from the previous Honor phones make an appearance on the View 10, along with some new ones made possible by the Kirin 970's NPU. The NPU makes it so you'll spend less time adjusting your camera settings, and you'll spend more time taking perfect shots. I'll be making a separate video going more in depth with the camera, but for now I'll confirm that this phone takes amazing photos and video. Here are some samples I took. When it comes to performance, the View 10 is easily the fastest Honor phone we've tested so far. While gaming, you'll notice shorter load times and better frame rates than on past Honor flagships. Even the camera is significantly faster with quick post-processing and a shutter lag near zero. You'd expect a powerful phone like the View 10 to have a large battery, and you'd be right. It's powered by a 3750mAh cell that supports Huawei's supercharged fast charging technology, which means it's able to charge from 0-50% to in half an hour. Huawei says it'll last all day on a single charge. With the Honor 8 Pro and the Honor 7X, we saw a new design from Honor that we really liked. The smooth unibody design is now back with the Honor View 10. The back has a shiny metallic look and feel that creates a very premium aesthetic. The buttons have a very satisfying click to them. The camera lens only adds a slight bump to the back of the phone, but otherwise the phone is perfectly flat. While the price of this phone has yet to be confirmed, we'd expect that this will be in the range of $500 to $650. If that's the case, this is easily one of the best phones in that price range and offers a better camera than the competition. That's it for the Honor View 10 review. If you like this video, be sure to check out my personal channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.